Hello everybody and thank you very much for awaiting my new video. Today I'm going to share guys with you my tips as an investor because I'm on this market for nine years already and trading actively for eight years. Mostly holding, true, but still I have some experience. And today I have Happy Pepe because Bitcoin was trying to do something good. As you can see it was going up, but then it decided to do something weird. It's just a minute graphic, so you don't have to worry about that. It's just hundred bucks difference. Here I'm tracking Dusk because it's number one coin for me and it'll go to $1 price and all the, our millions of millions Dusk will be converted to millions and millions of dollars. So I would like to tell you that it's going to be very interesting and very informative and let's start. So the first thing guys is don't put too much money in it. Don't put more than you can afford to lose. Honestly, when I invest in something in crypto, I consider this lost. Yeah, I know, it's not the best thing that you want to hear from the person that you follow to get investment advices or ideas from, but still. And it should work with any investment, not only with cryptocurrency. And this will be the number one advice. The second one is don't buy high market caps waiting for good returns. True, we had an example with like Ethereum or Ripple when it was worth billion dollars and then it, it became hundred billions. But those things happen all the time. You just need to do proper research on them. But they're happening not often. Although I can tell that for stable returns, investment in top 10 coins after bear market can work very well. But not many people remember coin market cap when top 10 was like in 2013 Bitcoin Litecoin and then many of you never even heard about those like Namecoin, Peercoin, Feathercoin, Frycoin, Terracoin, Devcoin, Novacoin, Mincoin. That's it. And there are only 10 coins in total with even like $20,000 market cap. I'm telling about that because I want you guys to know that some of our top coins will disappear. Some of them will do that soon. I personally don't think like XRP and Bitcoin Cash will last long. No, they do transaction function and better Bitcoin thing, but they don't do anything better than other hundreds of coins. And they were just hyped due to some highly ranked accounts talking about them. So I want to tell you if you want to get good returns or great returns, don't look for coins at top 100. It was, it has a very low probability of going X hundred uh, in compared with coins from top 200 to 500. So the third thing and my main mistake, <laughs> don't sell low. Some of you know my story it was very sad when I bought $500 worth of Bitcoins and sold the same day for $300. Eight years ago, it was in August and that was stupid and we call it weak hands. I sold Bitcoin, it went lower. I was happy that I exited and I haven't lost that many as I could, but then that much as I could. And then I, it started to go higher again and I decided to buy again and then it was never, I was never selling it. Exception can be made here. If you are ready to lose money and have 100% or 99.999% better opportunity to invest in or you are insider in some company and doing some dirty stuff trying to pick up some crypto early, I would say you can do that. Like I always say, crypto is about cycles. It is happening from time to time. For example, every two, three years bull run comes and it lasts for several months with pre-pumps and then dips, then goes mega pump. And right now we are seeing that dip. So it's like we are close to mega pump. Fourth advice and never chase something that went high. Guys, I've lost a lot. By a lot, I mean hundreds of Bitcoins during all the time chasing pumped coins, thinking that they will go up. For example, when I hear something, uh, someone telling me, dude, that coin is going nuts and bank protocol is a great thing and is going to the moon. Yes, it might be doing that, true. And uh, there might be 50% profit opportunity, but the higher coin goes, the higher chances of it going down. For example, look here. Does that look like good investment in? Uh, just take a look at that. Yeah, it might be because of that dip and coming bull run where it might make extend. 
but it is less likely. It already went x70 against Bitcoin and 120 times more against USD. 12,000%. Just think about it, guys. And take a look at that. Dusk. And I'm in love with this. Right now, it reached only X3 position, so it's 300% and worth nothing on the market. And it also has a new project that never been pumped hard with strong development behind it. And that's why I've never been on the same boat with Bitcoin Cash or Ripple guys who are investing in something ultra mega pumped, <laughs> like those things sitting on the top 10. I'm here to make money and I'm here to share with you my experience. So you will profit from it. Fifth thing, don't invest everything in one coin unless it's Bitcoin or I can tell Ethereum. Everything is being built on Ethereum. Other positions are a lot more risky. For example, during that dip, I had pleasant time with ARPA and LTO. Even though market was dying these three, three days and everything went very low, those coins pumped and they kept good balance even being not biggest investments in my portfolio. Separate coins split them everywhere, sell them when they pump, buy unpumped coins, look for good technology, use cases, something that you believe in, then find competitor, doing it better with real team, real development, real stuff, and cheaper 10 times or 100 times. Invest in it and use daily graph for, for analytics, then use four hour graph, and then use 30 minutes graph to find entry point. Short, short tips for those who are watching it till the end. But believe me, it's really a cool idea to put buy orders for minus 15% before you go to sleep. Then you wake up, you open your portfolio and it's jumped 30%. How? Because someone sold coin, you got it next to week on the graph, your order was filled and price came back on the level where it was. Now you can already or sell it or you can just wait but at least you haven't bought it for market price and it dipped without you. And sometimes you wake up, it dips and goes a bit higher and you're still in profit and you can sell even though market went just a little bit down. Uh, also a good point to sell when you're seeing your coin going like 30 to 100% in just one minute graph with no news with it, uh, just sell it guys. And wait, that first candle usually comes back to 50% down and goes up again. What I usually do, I'm trying to not to be greedy. I just sell it at some point when it goes up really fast and then I put rebuy level lower. Eventually my coin will go very high, but that amount that I just got will make me a lot more rich. And when researching any projects, look at indicators. And here are my indicators. The first one, idea of project can be found on bitcointalk.org. It's a good thing to find it there. If you see it there and people are believing it, it's a good sign. Then second, developers profile in social media like LinkedIn. If there are real people, you know, it's a good sign. CEOs and VPs profiles are an experience. Those are true. Th those are important also. <laughs> Social page of this project is a must have. It's like 100% must have. Traffic of their websites, analytics of growth, must have. Number of subscriptions, it's very important, especially in this with news. Number of people pumping this coin is important. And uh, feedback to users and daily reviews of progress, it's a good manner of, and it builds connection between investors and project owners. Uh, total market capitalization, if that project is too cheap for the value it gives, just buy it. Market cap is a circulating supply multiplied by the price of coin. It's pretty simple. And number of coins and their price is just the thing that you need to watch. And of course, it's hype and possibility of hype uh, due to roadmap features. That's it. So guys, those tips are useful, I'm pretty sure, and I hope. And I wish I knew them honestly before investing. I've lost a lot. I was investing in something that was pumping hard and then was going down and I was very disappointed. And when it was going down, I was selling it and then it was multiplying by 100 times. It's like the thing that happened with Verge. I hit 15 million of coins, it doubled, I was very happy to sell it. And then it went even like when John McAfee tweeted about that, it just like went nuts, 30%. If I sold those, 
15 million coins for 30 cent oh my god that would be cool but i'm holding dusk right now and it'll go to the dollar and it'll be fun so guys i hope you enjoyed the video and watch this video and this video and don't forget to subscribe of course i'll be waiting for your questions here and on twitter and on quora thank you very much for watching and your happy pepe and Ilya Aski was here thank you again have a nice day bye bye